it's a great chance for youth from all across congregations in, in the denomination um, and even outside of the United States to come together and think about life and faith from not only their own perspective, but to hear from other people about what life and faith means to them in their own context. To see that community happening um, and to see that strengthening of each other and lifting each other up and um, that is was really, really cool to see and especially in worship when everyone's together and um, the Spirit's moving and um, you definitely know God's present. No matter where you're from and no matter what your reasons for coming, you are welcome here. You are all welcome here. We're so glad that you came and we can't wait to see what God has in store for all of you this week. The word chosen comes from the Colossians text and we felt that on the first night of NYC one of the most important things for all of the youth to feel is that they're here. They have, they were meant to be here. God wants them here, we want them here and this is their time and place for, for their experience of God's presence. Jesus is chosen and beloved in God's sight. And if he is the cornerstone and we are stones set upon him, then what is our identity? We are chosen and, we are chosen and, chosen and beloved. Each day ha had a word and we looked at the extravagance of these clothes that we should be putting on like compassion and gentleness and humility and we used extravagant love to try and get that because the scripture also talks about um, tying everything together in perfect love and the harmony of that. Thank you for these gifts of supplies for cleanup buckets that will touch the lives of so many in times of crisis. Our God is not satisfied when we barricade ourselves in places with the people who look like us and talk like us and experience the world like we do. May each of us be granted the kind of relationship with the Creator God that compels us to follow in the way of extravagant love and mercy, even at great risk, even across great divides. Jesus wants to make all things new in our lives. Jesus wants to invite us into situations that are going to make us uncomfortable, but it's going to set us free. I get to run with all my friends early in the morning for breakfast. I enjoy running. Um, I also enjoy dressing goofy for my runs. I train for running. I run every day. Uh, we, we've always done a 5K, and we thought, uh, what, what way can we uh, hype it up a little bit, make it a little more exciting, make it different? And so we thought of doing a theme run of some kind. Uh, and so the idea of superheroes came up. Uh, it's kind of a, a cultural thing right now. And so we decided to have a fun theme and people people did it. They dressed up and, and it looks like they're having a good time. When we turn our back on God and we look around ourselves, we don't see much but the lines and the squiggles. We fully kick off those shackles of sin, and we put on the humble, the forgiving, the sin-confessing, the compelling, life-changing love of God. And that, sisters and brothers, that children of God is when we are fully resurrected. When we hear Jesus say, in our inner being or through others, I see you and I love you, the chains that have bound us will fall away, the millstone that has weighed us down will turn to dust. It will be our joy and our blessed responsibility to say to others who are burdened with shame, I see you and I love you.
Savage products are amazing because it gets the kids active and it helps them to meet other people. I wanted to do the Savage product because I saw that I could hang out with kids and I love hanging out with kids. It is wonderful because the staff, they get their workload taken off of them and so that the youth get a first-hand experience on how to deal with kids and it helps them get active as well. I think that service at NYC is important because it allows you to show the love of Christ to other people and really reach out to other people and make, your, make what you're taught in church, you bring it into the real world. People all across the world learn about the importance of God and how he helps us in our lives. where isolation um, seems to be increasing. This is a chance to come together and understand the, the breadth and depth of God's movement in the world. I would like to think that Jesus might stand here among us and ask, who is this? Who is this who stands against racism? Who knows that peacemaking is hard? Who refuses to listen to fear? who stands against misogyny and sexism, who stands up and says no to bullies, I pray that he would stand and look at us and say, ah, I know you, you're mine. The gospel of peace will flood this world. So where we see oceans of hatred and anger, may Jesus call us out onto the water where the peace of God will stop any wave, any storm, any struggle that comes our way. Tonight, we anoint for true peace. We anoint one another with the hope and promise that the true peace of Christ might bind us together in common purpose for ministry in his name. Our worship services are wonderful and unique because we're all together, but there's not really, that doesn't give people a chance to process and think and ask questions and hear from others what they heard and experienced. And so small groups really provide that chance for people um, to process what they've been experiencing. And then, you know, people also do that processing with their own youth group, but again, it's a little bit different lens when you do it with folks who you're just learning to know in this context. So we got to sit down and actually talk together and discuss what happened and what happened during the last 24 hours. The small group was very interesting because we got to take every point of view of every speaker that spoke and talk about it in each people's perspective and, and ideas that they got. I went to a lot of the crazy and like activity dancing ones and I got to see how people really are when they are around a bunch of people who are really like they are. 
for workshops and small groups, um, it's just kind of a chance for us not to be in that huge Moby arena, but rather to be smaller and um, give people the chance to talk, talk about what we learned in worship. the Rocky Mountains. Everyone who comes here, you know, hiking in the Rockies is certainly a highlight. A lot of fun going up and seeing all the rocks and like the part where it was like all open you could see like the background of all the mountains. It was really good. got these airbags from the junkyard and they were really dirty when we got them so we had to clean them up and we had to soak them in water and clean them a bunch and then once they were all clean we stuffed them with cotton and we uh, sewed this in here and we thought we would put things that we thought would matter to us on our pillows. I combined a bunch of work camp t-shirts and just brethren related activity t-shirts into a pillow um, and like this one's from my church. This is a church with brethren um, sign and I just I really like the colors and I just decided to make it very decorative for NYC. I sewed on everything that you see here and the logo here is pretty much what the theme is and I just used a bunch of stuff that I had, like animals and stuff. Music plays a critical part at, at NYC and, and that started for me when I was a youth um, and has come through. For some people they really connect to scriptures, some people really connect to uh, the messages and others really connect through the music or all of those ways but um, you know it might be something different that's powerful to each person. And it's nice when people, to be part of something that can allow people to connect to God and, and really connect to the experience. And music, it's the voices together, so I think it helps build that, that feeling of community and the group unity while people are, people are here. To the point where they get excited to go back and share that music in their congregations, at their camps, wherever, wherever they're going, where they might be singing and playing music. each other in order to be our best selves. Christ created each of us to be a different part of the body. And when we exclude or we discourage each other, we break apart the body. We will fail at times, we will excel at times, but what is most important is we travel together, supporting each other along the way.
Go. Set an example for believers and non-believers alike. I await the sun again. I choose love. Let's learn to love one another by washing feet. So some of you might have space to take a knee and some of you might feel comfortable to put an arm around another. Well, I invite you now, confess your sins to one another so that you might be healed. have the gift of God's love and companionship and forgiveness available to us 24 7 let's be grateful to the giver and express our gratitude to him in our praise and you can carry this as a memory you can't recreate this place but you can carry this as a memory to hold to tie to your bag to set in your Bible somewhere that you can remember that you have indeed seen God in one another and in the world around you. Being reminded that we are bound together intimately through our relationship with Jesus um, and just our relationships with each other is really important. And then the reminder that one of the most important characteristics of those relationships is love. And, and Christ's love, Christ's love for us, and the, Christ, the love that Christ asks us to have for one another. NYC was like truly life changing. Um, I feel like it bettered me as a person in like all areas of myself. I got to meet so many new people and make so many new friends and I even met someone from India which is really a great experience. He's an amazing guy and the whole group that I was with was amazing. I never would have thought that I could come to something like this and just feel comfortable and loved by every single person that I just walk by on the streets. It's something I will never forget. It's cool uh, just to have like a thousand five hundred kids that all have the same thing in common which is everybody wants to grow closer to Jesus. And it helped me move closer to my faith and just everybody here worshiping God and all being in the same area was really moving for me. NYC was a reunion with my friends from six years ago because we moved away from them and away from Church of the Brethren but it was nice to reunite with them. I like the speakers, I like small groups and just kind of being in a place where everybody has like has this common ground of like we're all brethren and we're all we all want to learn about Jesus in the way that all these speakers are telling us.
really a lot about God and about myself. And I really want to share this with my country. Everyone here was really welcoming and it was just a great time. It was just like this amazing thing that helped me grow closer to God and like meet new people from everywhere and get everyone's perspective on things. I think I'm going to go home and I'm going to be more loving towards people that I might not have loved before. I'm going to try to be uh, more active in my community. This was a beautiful, great experience. I am so excited to go back to Miami and spread love and peace to everyone and teach our family and friends what we learned. I just hope that they take away that they're loved and that they're part of this community that's bound together and um, that even though this was only a week that the things that they learn can be taken into their daily lives and into their schools and into their churches. Amen. Thank you for your music this week.